Well, hello, and welcome back to Shane's Hobby Shop. My name's Shane. This is Biscuit. Say hi, Biscuit. <laughs> well, I promised you all an update, and that's what I'm going to do. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Thank you. She's Daddy's girl. Okay, so I know I've been away from YouTube for a while. I did one or two little videos and should have done more, and I do apologize for that. But let me tell you what's going on in my life, what went on and what's going on. All right, first off, I do have a woodworking project coming up. I literally got it outside in my garage right now. All I got to do is start building, and yes, it will be here on YouTube. Problem is, it's going to be a two-part video. One part is to come out in a couple of days. Second part is going to be a little bit later, and I'll explain why more into the video. i got it my notes right here. All right, so yeah, stay tuned for that video. It's going to be a, a pretty good build video, which I'm pretty sure some of y'all are going to want to see it. All right, well, about a year ago, roughly, uh, I came on here, and I told y'all that I had some problems, mainly my weight. And at that time, I was 375 pounds. Well, now I have been going through a VA program since I'm a veteran, uh, going through a program called MOVE. And what MOVE is, it's uh, almost like Weight Watchers, but in today's world, it helps us uh, not really work out, but just tell us what's good to eat, what's not good to eat, how much to eat, so on and so forth. And we do have a support group that we meet every other week on video right now. Uh, since COVID, we got to do video, but when COVID's over, if we want to get together, we can, but right now, it's just on video. Now, the VA has only required me to do three months of that. Well, I started almost a year ago in, in that program, and I kept on going. I mean, who said you got to quit, right? So, it still helps me. It still gives me a lot of support. I'm still learning from them, so it's really good. Well, that only made helped me lose just so much pounds and i really couldn't get down to what i want so the next step on that was i was going to do a uh let's call it the stomach surgery to uh uh help you lose weight and i got two options on that uh, i could do the gastric bypass uh, surgery or the gastric sleeve surgery and uh, the doctors, they, you know, my, my VA has already proved this. I can go do that. And we talked to the doctors about what my options are, which one to do. And we decided to go to the gastric bypass surgery. And uh, without going into gory details, they just uh, cutting the, uh, my stomach off. It's still going to be there, but rerouting some piping in there. And I'm going to be eating very small amounts here very soon. And... Uh, they said within uh, six months, I could lose roughly up to 80% of my weight. Now, that's not 80% of my weight right now. That's 80% of back when I was at 375. Because I've already lost that weight. And that first amount of weight that you lose is always the easiest part to lose. And then it starts getting harder for you. Well, that's where I'm at now. It's the hard part. So 80% of 375 within six months, give or take, because everybody's different, everybody's system is different, you lose weight differently. So we're looking at that. So I'm hoping by next summer I will be down to my goal, if not very close to my goal, which is I'd like to still stay around about 180 to 210, around that area. Uh, if I can stay there, very happy. So... Uh, like I said, I got approved for surgery. Uh, my uh, my pre-op is going to be May 4th, where I got to go in. They got to do some more blood work and do some other things and make sure I am set up and ready to go for the actual surgery, and which the surgery will be May 12th. All right, so all your uh, uh, prayers for that day will be very helpful for me to get through, get through the surgery. Uh, it was a long, hard road to come to this because even though I'm getting the surgery now, uh, when I got done with the MOVE program, I still had to go through a bunch of evaluations to make sure I'm mentally fit for the surgery. 
Then I had to do a bunch of blood tests and physical evaluations. And so it took me a while. And even my nutritionist, who I'm going to see now, I had to go see her a couple of different times. Uh, I'm guessing about four or five times, maybe more. Uh, so she can teach me what I got to look for on the little nutrition labels. Because now I got to watch all of that, watch my calorie intake uh, and all of that, proteins, uh, saturated fats. I got to pay attention to all of that now. And she's also teaching me how to eat. I got to eat slower. Most of you guys, uh, especially one who is in the military, we learn how to eat fast in boot camp. If you're hungry and you want to eat, you better eat fast. And I still eat that way. So she's teaching me how to eat slower and um, having to chew my food a lot more. So, yeah, um, so it, it's a long process. I am doing much better on all of that. So that's why we just got approved for the surgery. So, yeah, hopefully that'll all go well. And by uh, next summer, I won't have this big old gut. Mm, hopefully, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on so far. Um, by next year, if I do get down to a good weight, whether it's 200 or very close to 200, I want to uh, keep it off for one. What I'm going to do is I'm hearing uh, stories online of people, well, they had the surgery a year or two ago, but now they gain weight. And the reason why is because they get snacky. It's not that dinner is making them lose weight. No, they know what to eat on dinner. It's just the in-between snacks. It's really, that's what's getting them there. It's in a habit of eating at nighttime or eating while you're watching a movie. And what you're eating is very bad for you. So I'm learning how to curb all of that. Uh, for the ones who uh, know what a keto diet is, that's what me and Shelly is on. And we've both been losing a lot of weight. Uh, I don't know if I told you right now, but... Right now, today, I'm at 343 pounds. That's from 375 just a year ago. So that's 32 pounds I have lost so far. And uh, no, that's not all on keto, because beginning I was on move and doing what move wants me to do. But keto is different because the uh, way the VA has is the old way, where you gotta watch your calorie intake and you got to eat this, got to eat that. Well, move, uh, I'm sorry, uh, keto is a totally different way of eating. And since I got on move, my weight has been dropping big time. I think I lost more weight on move, uh, on keto, than I did on the move program. Hope I didn't mix all those names up, but you get what I'm saying. Keto is doing much better for me than your traditional way of uh, losing weight by counting calories. So, yeah, uh, you want to lose weight, check out Keto. Uh, it's all over the internet. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below to a, a guy who can teach you a lot about Keto and what to eat. He's very fun. Uh, Shirley uh, listens to him all the time, and she come tells me all the time. So, yeah, watch that video and check it out. Also, if you want to get into, uh, like, aerobics, like if you was into like uh, Jane Fonda sweating to the 80s stuff. Uh, yeah, that's our old past thing. But I'll leave a link in below. It's, uh, I think it's called Inside Walking or Inside Running or Indoor Running, something like that. It's basically the same thing as, as what they did back in the 80s. Uh, it helps out a lot too. So I'll leave a link in the description below where you go check that out. All right. Well, uh I uh, look like I think that's everything I got going on. Uh, stay tuned for my build video for part one. And part two will be after the surgery, after I heal up. Now, this, you, know, you think I'll just go into the hospital, have surgery, boom, back out, I'm in the shop. No, it's going to take me a good couple of weeks to recover because although, <coughs> excuse me, although they're not cutting me open, it's going to be pinholes that they're going to be doing all of this stuff with. I, I still got to recover from that. I'll be on uh, light foods and clear liquids for a good while. Uh, I'm looking at probably a month to two months of uh, just recovering. <coughs> and hopefully, 
uh, within that time, I can put out the uh, second part of the build video. Alright, well, I'm getting all choked up here, so I think I better come. Hey, before you go, quick note here. Uh, you might be thinking, okay, well, keto's doing so good for me, which it is. Why do I want to have the surgery? Well, it's because well, I'm right now, I'm 50 years old. And yes, I am losing weight on keto, but it's not quick enough. I'm, I'm not wanting to be 200 pounds tomorrow, but yet uh, I've only lost 32 pounds, and most of that was on keto just in the past year. And if I keep doing this, it's going to take me four or five years to get to my goal that I want. And I don't know what way my uh, health is right now that I'll live that long. Because uh, I'm no longer a borderline diabetic. I, I got that, rid of that already. But I still got high blood pressure. I'm still heavyweight. Yeah, heavyweight, that's the word for it. And I'm still having back problems, speed problems, all because of my weight. So I want to get down to uh, a manageable weight that is not affecting my health. And I can get back into exercising and physical activities where I can keep it off. Alright, so, uh, yeah, keto is working, but it's just not working fast enough for me. Alright, I hope that cleared everything up. Again, thank you for your prayers, and we'll see you next time.